this is the Kevin's Bookstore, and today we're gonna read the Magic Treehouse Fat Cracker Sea Monsters. Chapter 2 Exploring the Oceans in December 1872, a ship called the Challenger sailed from Britain. It was starting a long three-year voyage. The ship carried a group of scientists. They planned to do the first large study of the ocean. They wanted to see if there was life in the deep sea. At that time, many people did not believe there was. Two men were in charge of the trip. One was a scientist named Charles Thompson. The other was Captain George Strong Nears, a naval officer who was an expert in map making. The men turned the ship into a floating lab. They brought along microscopes, thermometers, chemicals, and hundreds of bottles to hold samples. They also carried gear to collect material from the ocean floor. During the trip, the men took thousands of samples of sea plants and animals. They mapped the ocean floor. They also learned about water temperatures and how salty the water was in different places. The Challenger came back with lots of research material. The voyage proved that the deep ocean had many living creatures. Life in the ocean was richer than anyone had ever dreamed. Deep Water Exploration In 1934, Dr. William Beebe was the first person to dive deep into the sea. He went down 3,000 feet in a vessel called a bathosphere. A strong cable lured it into the water. Since there were no underwater cameras, Dr. Beebe wrote down all he saw. Later, an artist drew pictures of what he described. Things have changed a lot since the Challenger and Dr. Beebe. In 1960, a better bathysphere was invented. For the first time, people could dive down to the deepest part of the ocean. They dove seven miles down to the Marianas Trench. No one has ever gone that deep in the ocean before or since. Zach Cousteau When Zach Cousteau was a young man in France, he had a bad car accident. To get stronger, Zach swam in the ocean every day. He fell in love with the sea and chose to spend his life studying it. Zack invented special underwater cameras and scuba gear. For many years, Zack made underwater movies and photographs while sailing aboard his famous boat, the Calispo. People all over the globe came to know the beautiful world of the ocean. Zack 
wanted everyone to treat the oceans with care. People protect what they love, he said. Since Zach's death, scientists have built new unmanned submarines. They are able to go deep into the ocean to gather facts. In the future, we will all have a better idea of the wonderful blue world of Zach Cousteau.